Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Today we have a privileged position to learn about prophecy to be a prophet and also about weakness. So we begin with the prophet Ezekiel in the first reading. And God calls Ezekiel to be a prophet and he calls him to go to his own people. And listen to the words. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking to me say, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites. So when we listen to God, the Spirit can enter into us and then it sets him on his feet. The Spirit of God sets us right and gets us ready for motion. Son of man, I'm sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. This is the story of salvation. God called us to be in communion and covenant with God. And then by our original sin, we broke that covenant. How did God respond to that? He sent us prophet after prophet after prophet. And now he's sending Ezekiel to be another prophet. And listen to what he says. God says, Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they, and they are the ones to whom I'm sending you. So that sounds like a fun job, right? God's going to send you to obstinate, hard-faced people. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, for they are rebellious, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. So God knows that sometimes we resist God, sometimes we fight God, sometimes we push off God. God still comes to us and wants us to know a prophet is among you. I'm still here. I'm still here to offer a covenant to you. And the covenant in the Hebrew scriptures is, I will be your God, you be my people. And then God asks us to follow his way. So why does this have to do with you and me? We are baptized, a priest, a prophet, and a king. A priest is one who sanctifies. So the ordained priest at the altar sanctifies at the mass, the body and blood of our Lord. But each of us are called to bring holiness to our home, to our relationship, to our work, to put into proper order everything to God. And then a prophet is one who speaks on behalf of God, especially you moms and dads. We need you to be prophets for your children. Let your children know the way of God. Speak God's word to them. Read God's word to them. Let the word of Jesus be in your home. And then a king is royalty who's there to lead others on a right path. And again, parents, that's your job. Anybody who's in charge of other people, that's your job. We keep us on the right path and the path is ordered to God. And then we hear that in the gospel, Jesus is back home with his own people and they reject him. So to be a prophet, if you're gonna follow God's way, just be ready for rejection. The world is not gonna like it. The world is dysfunctional and affected by original sin. The way of God is better. So we're gonna stay on track. We're gonna have God's spirit with us. And when rejection comes, just be ready for that. Finally, we hear from St. Paul to the Corinthians, my grace is sufficient for you. Power is made perfect in weakness. So when we get rejected, we feel weak. That's when God's power can be great. So we take all of our difficulties and all of our shortcomings and place them at service of God. God can take them and make them into wonderful power in his way. So be a prophet this week. God bless you.